and welcome to another episode of 365 Thoughts on Confidence. It's episode 323 and we're talking about falling down and getting back up. My name is Abigail and this is the channel where we hang out and talk about all things related to confidence so that we can shine the light of awareness on it so that we can take some action to elevate it. So if you want to elevate your confidence, make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is episode 323. Let's take a look at what today's thought on confidence is. When you fall, you have a choice to stay down or stand up. We're all going to fall at some point in our lives, both literally and figuratively. And when you're on that floor, like if you've ever actually literally taken a tumble and you find yourself like face flat on the floor, I've done that before embarrassing as hell but like literally you have a choice and I've done this and I watched myself do this in that very moment and I was a young kid and you know you're stupid as you're as you're growing up and you're a bit clumsy and so I found myself lying flat on the floor and for a moment I just lay there <laughs> my face in the dirt and I just lay there and I thought to myself what do I do now do I get up or do I just stay here and like literally I was considering those options as if I could potentially just stay here and nobody would ever notice. But of course that is not realistic and it's a perfect metaphor for life. If we fall and we're gonna fall because that is life, are you gonna stay down and hope that nobody notices? Or are you gonna get yourself up, dust yourself off and start again, like try it again? You may think that you don't have a choice. But you actually do because you could stay down there and you could wallow in your own self-pity and your failures and all the reasons it didn't work but where is that ever going to get you it's just going to keep you there in that failure so the the thing you want to do is get out of that failure as as quickly and as gracefully as possible but get out of there knowing what got you there in the first place. Get out of there knowing that, you know what, I've been there, I don't wanna go back there. Like use it as a bouncing board, use it as a step to bounce you higher the next time and use it as a reminder to never do that thing again that got you down there in the first place. And what I've learned is that, yes, you might fail and yes, it might feel catastrophic, and it might feel like everybody's watching you in mid-fall, like a mid-failure. But in reality, people are so busy with their own lives. They're so busy with their own shit that they don't have enough time or attention to be watching your every step, to be watching your every move. So it might feel like, you know, it's glaringly obvious to everybody else that you have failed. But the truth of the matter is they barely noticed like in the big picture in the big scheme of things other people have barely noticed that that you failed and so stop putting so much emphasis on you know the people and the things going on around you just dust yourself off stand up and carry on moving forward keep going that's how you're going to keep your confidence afloat that's how you're going to reach the success levels that you deserve that's my thought for the day, keeping it short and sweet. Let me know if it resonates with you in the comments down below. And otherwise, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notifications button, and then share this with a friend, maybe a friend that you think might need this little reminder. And whatever you do next, do it consciously, do it confidently, and have yourself a fantastic day.